Okay, now that we've got this little line, what I want to do now is simplify the whole thing so it's just quarter notes and there's no um, there's no rhythm. So what you have to do really is kind of it's, like, it's almost like you're kind of squinting at the at the at the line and seeing what what you think is kind of the essence of it. So this first bit. Okay, so one way of looking at that would be. Um, So ba ba do do do. So da ba ba is one way of looking at it. Check this out. So if that's a crotchet or a quarter note, and then this one. Okay, so that's one way of reducing that line to the kind of essence, really. Okay, and then so you've got. I would call, I'd do that as a crotchet, and then so, so okay, carrying on. So just make that one a crotchet. So you've got. So that's a crotchet. <laughs> it's a weird little process, but um, here we go. So, so here, like this, this, this little line here is a slightly more complicated because he's almost going um, better, better, and then kind of repeating that little two-note phrase. So it kind of displaces. Um, that that bit, which if you were thinking it was, you know, sometimes when you look at this stuff, you're, you're kind of looking for balance, you know, so you see how this first phrase goes, then the next phrase, I'm trying to balance it, well, it's not that, I'm trying to make it fit, but that, I'm aware of the, the, that thing of balancing those two lines, so, and i choose chosen that F, if I was going to balance this one perfectly, I'd choose that. So the, so the line was kind of the same but sequenced. Okay, but the actual line uses this F, so I've, I've just left it as that. Uh, then this one goes... So I'm, in this next bit, I'm one of the things I'm aware of is trying to keep that shape um, and sort of being aware of the fact that... Um, that is a kind of displacement. So I would say that was a crotchet. <laughs> and then uh, this bit. Uh, that B flat. Okay. So I'm kind of pushing it a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sh shifting that to fit how I want it to be. So okay, so that's a kind of simplified version. So the things I'm aware of, the kind of balance of the phrases, um, choosing the kind of essential notes, thinking about what's really being descriptive on the chords. So that that D is super important on that B flat chord because it's a, it's the third. So that. Sorry, the D on the B flat, and now the, this B note on the G seventh chord gives you a, a, again a third. Okay, uh, that fall down to that third on the F seventh chord. This color note of the flat five on the D minor flat five, and then this kind of, like I said, you've got it's almost like you've got two ideas happening at once here. You've got uh, the third and seventh that seventh going to the third of the chord and you've also got this little line at the top kind of descending as well uh, so that's the flat nine on the G going to the fifth and then seventh on the C minor going to the third of the F flat nine uh, again to the fifth of the B flat chord so overall that's a kind of it's a kind of melodic 
um, it's sort of like a melodic walking bass line, really. And there's a, you know, there's a bunch of things at play there. You know, there's like, yeah, following the chords, choosing good notes on the chords, having those phrases kind of balanced out. Um, and that's that, really. So, so now that we've got that, let's move on. We'll get to the next part. 